JD, I believe that you, you believe. Di- discovered what a MOOC is. Yes. yes which, I, is a, which is a breakthrough for this programme. <laughs> we've, we've been, a breakthrough. <laughs> well, I've been trying to talk about the MOOC for a, a while now. Yes. And being the, the earnest producer that you are, mm. you, you think there are new listeners all the time and they probably don't mm. know. Mm-hmm what it is well let's not get confused no, right we won't right, get confused with this it's not an online dating service of cows we've worked <laughs> that one out <laughs> okay <laughs> and and it's not spelt m-o-o-k no so so right okay so okay. just get those yep. things out of the way in case people think and what it is is a massive online course um for well, anything you like anything yes Aimed at unlimited participation and open access via the web. Wow, well, that sounds that sounds very good. Is that positive? Yes, that's mm. that's very clear. Yeah. So you you can do all sorts of things, such as film ed lectures and readings and what have you, whatever you like. So it's learning off the internet. Right. So you, you, the definition you've offered doesn't doesn't mention universities as a source. They could be coming from anywhere. On it that, could be on that well, basis. if it's online, it can come from anybody's computer, phone, or whatever. Right. So what what is interesting me this week, or um, next week, and recently, is the way the universities are thinking about such things. Mm-hmm. Because I've I've done a I've done a MOOC about the online educator which has apparently stopped, but it actually continues. Mm. And for a modest fee, you can, you can still go back to the MOOC indefinitely. And then there's another one called the Unbundled University, which has started up this week. Mm-hmm. And it's on next week as well. And I think it's the universities that are most um, concerned about these things. Some of them think it's a wonderful idea. Mm-hmm. And some academics are, are a bit disturbed by do you, it. Do you think it's taking over the teacher role in the classroom job? Um, well, partly. I think mm-hmm. it changes what the, what the teaching role is. Mm-hmm. And it changes the scale of it all. Well, I suppose it's the speed of how you get the information, doesn't it? Because you can only do so much in a lesson. But so you have you have to do homework. So you have something online going at the same time means that you're you're doing your homework as you go go around. Uh, yes, yes, that's 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 quite right. Mm. But you can do your homework in any any sort of order, really. Mm. When the, a lot of the people are, are concerned about the completion rate, so there's a big dropout rate. Mm. People have a have a look at week one and two, maybe, and then forget mm-hmm. about it or find something else to do. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that matters because I think very often they will come back to something similar at mm. a later date, or they'll mix it up with other things that are going on. So there's so, so much information flow floating about. You know, my my days it was just in school, did your homework. <laughs> you didn't, naughty boy, and uh, that was it. But now it's it's gone one stage further with the technology you can get the information faster and and apply it you know more more to the course per yeah. 10 than yes. anything else or you or you might find other information that's relevant to the course from from somewhere else mm-hmm. so it, and that won't show up in the completion rates mm-hmm. so i think that i think the people who design the MOOC courses Mm-hmm. Aren't, aren't quite right in thinking that everybody's just going to stay within their course and do it in the order mm. that they thought. They no, but they can sidetrack. You see, that's a, if you find a word which you don't know, you can go down that route and do another MOOC on that. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's not just stuck to what we call A levels, O levels, and what have you. <laughs> right, right. Well, look, Chris is Chris is here. I can see him waving. Really? Well, yeah, we won't let him in. Oh well, he, he we sit out there for half an hour. He's too early. Oh well, okay. Okay, okay. We we'll just give well, him a MOOC to do. All right. Well, look, I'll just mention Future Learn. Mm. Uh, people can look up Future Learn, mm. and they can look up Unbundled University, which is mm. the current MOOC. Mm-hmm. And um, if they go, Facebook's a, a bit of a hit and miss thing at the moment. It is actually yes. It's but not not if, very definite at if, the moment. If you go to um, We Not Know on Twitter, there's a link there mm-hmm. to a chart which shows all the um, all all the links between UK universities and 
um, learning platforms or various that I'm just going to introduce a new term now we've got the MOOC defined mm -hmm. online program management which um, is unknown program manager. Well, well, that's a big word. It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to get the dictionary out of that one. Okay. <laughs> well, look, we're going to assume that at least some of our listeners have at least heard the words, and we'll move <laughs> forward on that one. That's right. Well, they know what we're talking about. Yes. Well, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll let Chris in. And and it's taken um, me five years to work it out, but I've done it. <laughs> well, we, we moved on with the MOOC, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> that's, We've we discovered know, what, it is. what it is. Yes, which is a definitely a start. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is uh, Jamie Cullum.